Find it and cry oh, to find it it. and cry to find my baby. Baby. Hello, YouTube. This is your girl, Erica. Yeah, that video that you all just saw, that was my dad and my son doing what we normally do, just act a fool and lollygag and sing and dance and just enjoy each other's company. You know, that's just that's just how my family kicked it. You know what I'm saying? That's how we still kick it. And uh oh, by the way, yesterday was my parents' thirty first anniversary. So when I get some time I'm gonna make a video just specially dedicated to them. You know, so I just wanted to say happy anniversary to my mom and dad. Happy anniversary, guys. Let me show you all. Let me show you all. That's my mom and dad. That's my mom. That's my dad. 1977. Uh, let's see. Here they go again. That's my dad. That's my mom. And that's me. That's that little bump right there. That's me. I was a little bun in the oven. <laughs> But, um, this brings me to today's topic, right? I saw a video <laughs> which always seems to, I don't know, I, I see a lot of videos that kind of rattle my chain a little bit, but in the video, the person was talking about how um, the reason why women are single and the reason why women's relationships aren't working out is because they don't know their roles. Women don't know their roles, you know. You are supposed to be the, the, the nurturer and the, the, the person that takes care of the house and all the needs of the husband and the children. I'm sorry, that's not how it went on in my house. You know, my parents didn't rock it like that. Okay, my parents were equal. Okay? If my dad came home from work before my mom did, he was the one that was going to cook. He was the one that's going to clean, you know. And God forbid me or my brother came home first. Although me and my brother, we didn't do much cooking, but hell, shit. When we came home first, uh, that house better be spick and span. My, that house better be spick and span by the time they got home. So, no, there wasn't no designated duties. Both of my parents worked. So, I mean, how fair is that for a, a woman, a mother, to, you know, have to work eight hours and then come home and cook and clean? I think that it, it, it only makes logical sense, man. It only makes logical sense. Now, I know that there are plenty of marriages all throughout the years where the women just, they did everything in the house. They cooked, they cleaned, they, they, and, and they were happy with that. They were happy with that. Their marriage worked. But, you know, I'm here to say that my parents' marriage didn't work like that, and they've been married for 31 years. It did not work like that. My, my mom did not have a designated duty. I mean, she may have cooked more because she could, there was the better cook, but as far as her, it was her duty to cook. It was her duty to clean. Oh, fuck that. Oh, God, no. God forbid I get in a relationship with a man who throws that bullshit my way. Oh my God. I think that a relationship, a healthy relationship, especially nowadays, you know, I mean, that shit may have flew back in the 50s and the 60s, but 2008 is a whole nother ball game, okay? And, and, and in my eyes, in order for a relationship to be successful, to be happy, to be healthy, to be equal it has to be equal it has to be equal you know there cannot be you know I'm over you you know I'm the leader of the house there was no leader of the house both of my parents worked both of my parents paid bills both of my parents were the nurturers both of my parents cooked and cleaned and that's just that I love that I love that there was no designated duties ah, to hell with that shit man when I get married to my husband man you know what when we get together and it's beautiful and we loving each other man and and and, and I'm taking care of him and he's taking care of me and you know I'll cook one day he'll cook another day I'll clean one day he'll clean another day man that's how it fucking should be man well that's how I want it to be in my world 
You know, you are not going to stick me in a fucking 1865 category where I'm at home like I'm some Dolly Thatcher or somebody sewing and cooking and cleaning. Fuck that. Fuck that. This is a new day. And, you know, when I meet my husband, we're going to be on equal grounds. We are going to be on equal grounds. I'm too old. I'm 30 fucking one years old. I'm too old to be told what to do and have a set of rules. And I wouldn't put no set of rules on my husband either. He doesn't have a, a certain responsibility. It is your responsibility to do that. No, I wouldn't put that shit on my husband, man. We, we just come together and we love and we nurture each other. And we just raise our household together. Happy. Pleasant. You know what I'm saying? Fuck the rules, man. Fuck the rules. Just like my parents did. They said, fuck these rules. We're going to do it like this. And we're going to make it work. 31 years later. Peace out.